It's late. Why don't you come to bed? Oh. She's old enough to take care of herself, you know. And Ashur is a really nice boy. I don't ever want to hear anything about Ashur again. Well, have it your way. I'm going to bed. father isn't waking up for us. He just doesn't like me. Yeah, I, I just wish he would just take the time to get to know you. Like I do. I respect my father. But when it comes to you and me, he is so narrow-minded. I think I know why. It's because I'm a Syrian. Well, he'll have to get to like you after we're married. Get in the house this instant, young lady. And you, don't you ever show your face around here again. How could you embarrass me like that in front of Ashur? Like what? What has he ever done to you? I know nothing about him. I don't know who he is or where he's from. I never heard of an Assyrian until he came around here. Just who are the Assyrians anyway? That is not his fault. Just because you don't take the time nor have the patience to find out about anything about other people or their cultures, you decide to prejudge them. You're not to see him again. I'm going to marry him, whether you like it or not. Don't you walk away from me when I'm talking to you. Well, that's it. I'm going to marry him. You heard me. And cut. Well done. Hello, I'm George Kennedy. And the character I've just portrayed obviously has a lot to learn about different people and their origins and their cultures and their contributions to society. For instance, it would not be possible for us to make this film or for you to see this film if it were not for the lens. The origin of the lens goes back 4,000 years when the Assyrians in the palace of Nemrut contributed to society by experimenting with sand and quartz and soda and lime. This discovery led to the creation of glass, the genesis of the lens. It's hard to imagine what life would be like without the lens. The Assyrians, known as the people from Mesopotamia, the land called the Cradle of Civilization, located between the two rivers Tigris and Euphrates in Southwest Asia. The Assyrian civilization is treated as an extension of Sumerian and Babylonian heritage, who originally were the same people from the same land and culture. They're not to be treated as separate identities. In Assyrian culture lies the root of our modern Western civilization. They were the first inventors developing such contributions as mirrors, crystals, glazed bricks, and stained glass. We are surrounded by violence in our daily lives. What if there were no laws, no justice, no system to bring order to our society? Well, another major contribution the Assyrians have handed down to us through the centuries to our present time is the formation and enactment of laws and government. The first systematically collected and most complete set of laws were developed during the reign of King Hammurabi, who ruled 4,000 years ago in Babylon. These laws became known as the Code of Hammurabi. 282 in number, they included economic provisions such as prices, tariffs, trade and commerce, family law, 
marriage and divorce, criminal law, assault, theft, and even civil law, which covered slavery and debt. Penalties varied according to the status of the offenders and the circumstances of the offenses. These laws were written in cuneiform, or wedge-shaped characters, rather than pictorial characters. This cuneiform foreshadowed the arrival of the alphabetic scripts used throughout the Western world. So it was there in Mesopotamia, 5,000 years ago, that a practical system of writing was first invented and developed, bringing about a revolution in communication that had far-reaching effects on man's economic, intellectual, and cultural progress. Writing is so much a part of our lives today that it would be hard to imagine a world without it. A parable for scribes in Babylon reads, writing is the mother of eloquence and the father of artists. The accumulation of knowledge through writing gave way to the creation of the first library in Nineveh, the capital city of the Assyrian Empire, during the kingdom of Ashurbanipal around the 7th century BC. This library, preserved in clay tablets, contains a large number of historical narratives and ancient legends. Among them is the Epic of Gilgamesh, which tells an early account of the story of the flood. It also holds many documents on such subjects as science and medicine and astronomy and natural history. These tablets in the Ashurbanipal library were arranged systematically on shelves. Special indications helped the reader consult them. The preservation of knowledge through the use of writing on these clay tablets created the first academic centers of learning. In these schools, scribes began to specialize in teaching various subjects such as science and languages and medicine and astronomy, natural history, agriculture, irrigation, and even the construction of houses, temples, and ships. And of course, mathematics played an important part in the ancient curriculum. 303 plus 27 equals 303. It's no wonder that Mark is having difficulty using Roman numerals. Many of us find them confusing. Our system of modern mathematics comes from the Assyrians and Babylonians. This method is based on indicating the value of a number by its relative position. In comparison, the Egyptian method, which evolved to the Roman numeral system 2,000 years later, was only able to handle a simple linear equation. The Babylonian system of mathematics was first developed in the 22nd century BC in Mesopotamia and is still used internationally. These mathematical developments have furthered the progress in all sciences. Our modern lives are structured upon the concept of time. Would you imagine going through life without the awareness of the measurement of time for our daily schedules? Life would surely be chaotic. So, it is to the Babylonians' credit that we use their method of measuring time. They were the ones who first divided the day into 24 hours, and then the hour into 60 minutes, and the minute into 60 seconds. They divided the year into 12 months, and devised a seven-day week in honor of the seven planets. <laughs> in Mesopotamia that the first known wheeled vehicle was made. 
this discovery revolutionized the world's system of transportation and introduced the greatest mechanical invention of all time. The Babylonians were the first to divide the circle into 360 degrees. Mesopotamian contribution to music and musical theory has only just been discovered. Archaeologists have known for many years that Mesopotamia had musical instruments, particularly harps and lyres. But it was only recently that the contents of a cuneiform tablet that had mystified scholars for 70 years was interpreted. These discoveries carry the history of music and musical theory back to more than a thousand years before the first known Greek musical notation. Before this time, it was generally believed that the musical effect of forming melody and accompaniment was no older than the European Middle Ages. This new evidence verifies the first record in history of a musical scale and a coherent musical system. The people from Mesopotamia invented and developed techniques that have become major tools for our Western civilization. And though these tools have altered in detail, they have never changed in basic concept. They built the first cities. And gave birth to the development of city planning. constructed multi-storied towers, the Tower of Babel. The magnificent hanging gardens of Babylon developed roads. Invented the arch. discovered the technique of damp proofing, originated the construction of bridges and canals and aqueducts and sewage disposal systems, created incredible architectural designs such as the Gate of Ishtar. generated the advancement and the knowledge of astronomy, developing the first observatory, 
succeeded in calculating the movement of the planets, forecasted eclipses of the moon, created the 12 signs of the zodiac, introduced musical poetry, which created the seed of our modern day song. gave rise to the birth of arts in visual animal pictures and pottery. perfected sailing ships. Founded agriculture, bringing man to the end of his nomadic existence. Invented the plow, creating the first economic revolution. Initiated artificial irrigation bringing large areas of land under cultivation and watering them artificially. Gave birth to a merchant class and a system of trade. Manufactured linen, creating the textile industry. Organize the concept of city and state. As we chart our destinies to make a mark in this evolving Western civilization, we must remember these major contributions. And by acknowledging these remarkable achievements, we pass on a legacy of quality to future generations that shall be assimilated and expanded upon. This is the legacy of the people of Mesopotamia, the Assyrians,